Well, it looks like Toyota's in the news again. They've got 381,000 Tacomas being recalled for uh, potential axle nuts loosening and then pieces of the axle or your wheels falling off, which could be a safety issue, minor. It sounds like they left welding debris on the ends of the rear axle assembly during manufacturing. My guess is if anybody had any of these nuts start to come loose, you would definitely hear it and feel it before your wheel came off. But that might go without saying. And with the recall, Toyota says they'll inspect your vehicle for free. I wanted to show you this image. This is actually an image with these little red arrows here pointing to the bolts that are in question. And this is really the only place that that could happen. And if you look down here at this diagram, you can see the axle shaft presses into the hub assembly. And this is also coincidentally the same axle that's used on the Forerunner. Maybe they moved their QA people from the old Tacoma to the new Tacoma because this kind of ha this happened when you know the the transition period between the old body design and the new body design. So maybe they got a little lax on their quality. Definitely not a good look for Toyota, but it happens to all manufacturers. So if you've got a 2022 or a 2023 Tacoma, it's a super reliable platform. Uh, a lot of folks are poking fun at it and saying that this is the end of Toyota, their qualities uh, going downhill. I think if I had a 2022 or 2023 Tacoma, I would probably rather have that than the new model that came out. I think the new models of anything, whether it's the Tundra, the Sequoia, the, to the Tacoma, you're starting to see issues with those and in their turbochargers and all sorts of other problems with uh, neutral issues in the Tundra and the Sequoia. Um, what people are really projecting is they don't like where Toyota is going with their turbocharged and engines. They're looking a lot like Ford's engines and, and other manufacturers. So that's where a lot of the, I don't know, haste and commentary is pointed. So I, I agree with them. I, I think we are going to have to see where the market goes with the new Toyotas. Every new Toyota that's been redesigned recently with the new turbocharged lineups, uh, different transmissions on completely different platforms, we're going to see how reliable they are. And we really won't know for a good five or six years if they're going to have that kind of legendary Toyota reliability. A lot of folks online like to say their cars are reliable because they lasted 50 or 60,000 miles. That should be the default, right? Like every manufacturer should be producing vehicles that last 60,000 miles with zero problems. And that's not happening, especially for the money that they're asking for now. So I think the auto industry needs to get back to that where people expect to get a car that's reliable for the first 60 to 100,000 miles where you're not doing unscheduled maintenance. So that's, that's me on my soapbox. What do you guys think?